Hello, it's week 13 of season 4 of the Andy Griffith Show. This week's episode title is Barney and the Cave Rescue. Barney, what's up this week? Andy and I are about to go to the town picnic with Helen and Donna Lou. And I'm in the cornhouse training Gunnar on all the intricacies necessary for him to know about in order for him to watch the cornhouse while we're gone. And Andy says it's mainly just answering the phone. And I say, Andy, you can't have Gunnar taking his duties too lightly. Hernander, whoever sits in that chair is the only law less to know pilot. And then Andy goes off on foot patrol, and the audience sees him um, stop in front of the bank because he sees Mr. Meldrin trying to open the bank door on a Saturday morning, which is unusual. And Mr. Meldrin says, oh, I have a bank examiner coming today, and I have to meet him here on a Saturday. And Andy says, oh, okay, and he walks off. And then you see the bank from the courthouse window with Mr. Meldrin still trying to open the front door, but his back is to you, so you can't see that's who it is. And then you see an unfamiliar car pull up with an unfamiliar guy get out, and who's the bank examiner, but you don't know that yet either. And he walks up to the first guy. And it looks like a dank rotary to me, so I run out there with my gun drawn, and I say, all right, stick a nut, both of you. Now what's going on? And then I see that one of the guys is Mr. Neldrin. And then a crowd gathers, and they start to make fun of me, because they say I was trying to arrest the dank manager for trying to get into his own dank. And I yell, all right. Break it up. Move on. And then Andy comes up and tells them all to move on. And then back in the courthouse, I say, I don't think I want to go to the picnic. And Andy says he hopes it's not because of that dank incident, because I did exactly the right thing. And the town is lucky to have me. So I start changing my mind. I say I will go to the picnic. But then Opie comes in and says, Barney, is it true about that bank thing this morning? The whole town's laughing about it. So now, once again, you don't want to go to the picnic. And Andy has to say, okay, how about the four of us? We'll go to the picnic just to make an appearance, and then we'll quickly get off to a secluded area away from the main picnic, and it'll be a little private function for the four of us, and it'll be more comfortable. And I say that's a better idea. So we get to a stop away from the main picnic, and then Andy wants to go exploring in the old nine caves before we eat. And I don't want to, so Andy and Helen go, and Thelma Lou and I sit there. And she's mad that we didn't go, and she's also mad that I'm still upset about this morning. And I say, what's the matter? You said you wanted to go on a picnic. All right, we're on a picnic. Meanwhile, Andy and Helen go into a cave, and then Thelma Lou convinces me to go. But Thelma Lou and I are not starved behind Helen and Andy, and then we hear a rock slide in the cave. And Andy and Helen are caught in there. And I yell, Andy, Helen, are you in there? Andy, can you hear me? Hold on, don't worry, we'll get you out. And then I tell Thelma Lou to run back to the picnic and get every able dottied man she can. And then I run back to the office to get supplies. Meanwhile, the audience sees that Andy and Helen were right at the rock slide, but not directly under it, so they weren't hurt. And all they had to do was um, walk in the opposite direction to find another exit and get out of the cave. So they decided to hitch back to town to go to Helen's house to clean up. And then at Helen's house, they hear on the radio a news flash that Deputy Barney Fife of Mayberry is organizing a search party to, to search for them in the cave. And uh, But you, of course, don't know yet that they're safe. And at the courthouse, I tell Gunnar what's happening, and he starts yakking on the phone. And I yell, Gunnar, will you get off that phone? Now there are two people trapped in a cave, and I'm in charge of the rescue operation. Now I got a news, you understand? So Andy and Helen decide to go back in the cave so that you can rescue them, because if they just show up at the picnic otherwise, you'd get uh, ridiculed twice in one day since you've already started the operation of rescue. And I'm getting folks together with a megaphone. Attention, attention! This is Deputy Dorney Fight Sneaking. This is an emergency. Approach the cave entrance slowly. Do not panic. We need all available digging tools. Sheriff Taylor and Miss Crump are in need of your assistance. Now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of their neighbor. And as it turns out, I'm the one that digs through and finds them. And I yell, come on, help out here. Help her up. All right, let us through. Get out of the way. And when we all get out, Andy tells everybody that we're pretty lucky to have Barney Fife around. And they all say, good work, Barney. And they all shake my hand. And next day, Andy shows me the write-up on me in the newspaper. And I say, now, why did they have to go and do that? No need for a lot of fuss and feathers. It's a simple manner of a mall man doing his job. 
Doing it rather well, granted, but just a man doing his job. This was a joint effort of the whole town, not just of one individual. I wish they'd just forget it. But then Opie comes in with about 40 copies of the newspaper that you had told him to go buy. We'll see you next week for episode 14.